What up, y'all? It's your boy Spiff, and we back with another most Spiff production where our number one motto is moving forward and not backwards. So, like I told y'all in the last video, we got a performance mod today, and to some, this may be like, may not be a major mod, may be minor for some, but to me, it's major because anytime you using, you go from using your average fluid to a performance fluid, where it's transmission fluid, motor oil fluid or whatever it's always great and grand for your car trust me it's always great and grand so what we're doing today is we're going to switch from your normal oil you would normally use to a better performance oil by royal purple now uh it's not real popular here in tennessee i'm not saying that don't nobody use it but I see that it's real popular down in places like Dallas, Houston, and Atlanta. But uh, it's a little bit more expensive. And being that it's three to four times as strong as your, your oil you would usually use, it should be. And uh, after reading some reviews and doing my re research, a lot of people said that after using this uh, Royal Purple, it's like they only change their oil once a year. Well, normally for me, I would have to change it about three to four times a year, depending on how much I move around. But yeah, this right here, three to four times stronger. You only change it once a year, on average once a year, maybe twice a year. But most reviews say they only uh, change this oil once a year. So what's so good about this oil? Well, for one, being that you got a performance vehicle, most performance vehicles burn more gas than your average vehicle. So this right here, number one, is gonna give you better fuel fuel uh, mileage. You're gonna get better fuel economy out of this. And uh, also, your engine is gonna run a whole lot smoother. I heard a lot of people say after they put it in their car, after they let it run for about five to 10 minutes, it like the engine like settled down and quiet down. And that's because it's less friction once you use this. This right here cuts back on a lot of friction in your car, which in turns give you more torque and more horsepower. And that's the thing I'm liking the most is I get more torque and horsepower. And being that I got a V6, I want to try to put as much torque and power into that thing as I can. So this right here being is, is less friction. It's also, if you know anything about friction, friction causes heat. So this should cause your uh, your engine not to get as hot or cut back on some of the heat, at least some, because friction ain't a good thing for your car. It ain't a good thing. And it, if it is it cut back on friction, it's also cutting back on that wear and tear too. So this pretty much right here is gonna be good all the way around. And that's, most of, that's all this video is gonna be, is we gonna switch from the conventional oil to this full synthetic royal purple oil and uh, I'm going to do an install on it and I'm going to do it on my car just in case some of y'all may may not even uh, a lot of people don't even change their own oil but changing your oil is some of the easiest things you can do on your car I would never pay somebody to change my oil because it's too easy so we're going to go through all that I'm going to show y'all how easy it is it's actually easier to change the oil on this car than it was my Buick I had about a year or two back. So this car is not hard to work on at all. Like I said, it's a whole lot easier to change this oil than this car my last. My last car, I say I could probably change my oil in about 20, 25 minutes. This one, I can change my oil in maybe about 10 minutes because the oil filter sits on top of the engine still up under the engine where I gotta try to go under there and fit my arm all up in there and try to take it off. So this is gonna be a lot better and easier. And on the next video, we are gonna put these mods to the test. I wanna redo my zero to 60 test because since I put that pedal box on and I've got that GT momentum cold air intake and now I'm changing this oil, I wanna see if I'm really getting the difference out of the things I've been doing to this car. So I'm really expecting my uh, zero to 60 time to change mainly due to the pedal box. And I'm thinking this oil is gonna help too. It said it should give you more horsepower and torque. So the next video, we are gonna do another zero to 60 to see if we can cut that down from 6.5 a little bit more. I'm also probably gonna do is, 
is put a couple of clips from what I put in that GT Momentum code at intake with the Hellcat scoop bent. Cause uh, there's a spot on my car that you can pop out that little cover and you can put that little Hellcat scoop bent in and it actually sucks in air. And that right there uh, with that code at intake gave me a significant amount of torque and power. I'm talking about that cold air intake did my car some justice, some major justice. So I'm gonna put a couple of those clips in so y'all can see exactly how they work, how it sucks in air into the, uh, into the engine. And just all together, it brings at least, I think it's like 18 or 20% more airflow through your engine. That's, that's, that's major for your car, major for your car. I see that now because it have made a major difference to my car. So I'm gonna put a couple of those clips in so y'all can see how they work. But if you wanna see it in more detail, you can just go to that video where I actually installed it and you can see that in more detail. But right now, we are gonna get this average oil out and we are gonna put this better than average oil in. So let's go. All right, so we ready to go with this. As you can see, my cover is not on. I don't, I can't remember. I don't think you need to take the cover off to do this because all you need to do is be able to get to this oil filter right here. Your oil filter sit right there. That's it right there. On my other car, it was under the car and it was a hassle to get to. So that's why I was saying, that's what I meant by this car. So it was a lot easier to change it out. But all you're going to need is to take off the oil filter. You're going to need a 15 16th socket pretty nice size you're gonna need a wrench socket wrench to fit that and you're gonna need a half inch to get off the oil plug under the car and we'll get to that in just a second so those this is all the tools you need right there 15 16 socket half inch socket and you're gonna need a funnel so you can pour the oil in there, pour the oil in, and you're gonna need somewhere for the oil to catch it. And you're gonna need some oil. If it's not royal purple, it's gonna need to be some kind of oil. And for this car, it takes six quarts of 5W20. And it's not just six quarts because it's royal purple, it's six quarts any oil you use. So first thing we got to do is get under the car and click that plug loose. Once y'all see how easy this is, a lot of y'all gonna start changing y'all own or instead of paying somebody $50, $60 to do it. All right, so if you come to the front of your car, go underneath your car and look there you have to go past this cover and once you get past this cover there it is right there it's not far under your car at all not on this one anyway which my other car it was back further it was back a lot further so i can get to this one a lot easier and a lot quicker like i could just about get down on one knee and reach under the car in the front and touch the oil pan. That's how close it is to the front. So you ain't really got to be worried about trying to get too far under the car. That's a good thing. In my eyes, anyway. So if you fit the socket on, just loosen it up. Might put a little elbow grease on it. After you feel it, after you feel it start to come loose, don't get your oil pan, get it under there. Because what's going to happen is, that's going to start running out of there. That oil start coming out of there. You don't want that getting on the ground. So what I normally do is I get it to where normally get it to where I can kind of like turn it with my hand once I get it loose enough to turn with my hand So, 
Let that drain. Once that stop draining, you'll come back under there and you'll put the plug right back where you got it from. And after that, you done being under the car. You can come from home under the car after that. All right, now that it's done draining, I done put it back in there. Getting it hand tight. And I put this back on there. And I want to get it back good and tight. You don't want to strip it. You got, you got hands like mine. You want to mess around and strip it, but you want it tight enough to where it won't leak. That's all you want. And it should be good enough right there. So our next move is going to be to take off the oil filter. Next move is going to be to loosen this oil filter and take it off. This, the, this is the actual filter. It's going to come out of this house right here. It just pulled right out. It pop in and pop out. And the oil filter I'm going to replace it with is none other than the Mopar oil filter. The one that's come, that this car calls from. I tried to find a royal purple oil filter, but most of the oil filters I seen for oil purple were external, not internal oil filters. The oil filter, it ain't nothing to it really. This right here just pops out like that. And it has a little O-ring on it, a little gasket. Pull that right off. Should be a new one in here. New gasket. Come with this. And make sure. Comes with another one of these too. So you're gonna put the new one back around it. Where the old one came from. Get it all the way down. that down, pop the new one in, that's it, once we do that, we pop this new oil filter in the housing, we're going to take this and screw it right back down in there. Take the 15, 16 socket wrench. Get it right back down in there tight. Okay, so that's good right there. So, 
Zest it mainly for the, for us like the, I guess the most strenuous labor part of it. Like I said, man, I don't pay nobody to change my oil. It's too easy. It's too easy. So, now we got the old oil out. Old oil filter off. New filter on. All we gotta do now, let's put the six quarts of oil in there. And that's it. All right, I got all six quarts in. Oil filter changed. Oil in, put this cap back on. Make sure it's all the way down. That's it. That's an oil chain, man. That is a oil change. It could be done in less than 20 minutes. I would never pay anybody to change my oil. Too easy. So now, let's start it up. Let some of that purple rain run through his veins right quick. And that'll be a wrap for this video. We got the royal purple in there. The purple rain is running through his veins right now for like the past four, five minutes. And I can say that what I've read in the reviews is true so far. Juice has most definitely quieted down some. The engine on this car has like, seemed like it's got a most settled sound to it now to settle down some. So that's a good thing from jump, man. That's a good thing from jump. And I'm supposed to get better fuel economy out of my car with this oil less friction more increase uh more horsepower increase in torque so i'm looking forward to seeing that and as time goes on i will give y'all an honest update and let y'all know if that royal purple oil is really good for your car like you say it is and next video i'm gonna do a zero to 60 test time myself doing zero to 60 again since i got this oil and i got this gt momentum cold air intake and i'm gonna throw a couple of clips from that intake on here so yeah man another step forward we taking step forwards and not backwards and that's a wrap for this video man y'all make sure y'all like comment subscribe make sure you hit that notification button so you'll know when the next video come out until next time be great drive fast and god bless america